Today we will be working with the Santiago on the serve motion on one issue that sometimes we have most with what most of our players is uh, the way they take the racket back on the trophy position they tend to go too far back and drop the elbow down so we like them to work on what we call the trophy position so before we fix that i'm going to take uh, santiago and make him serve then we'll see what we need to fix on again One more. Good, okay. So, we, like we, we talked about before, the way Santiago serve, when you serve, show me the motion, show me your motion. Okay, he tend to go too far back here. We can see here, that position is going to be tough for him to create what we call drop the racket behind the back. So, that's why we like him to have the trophy position here the 90, kind of 90 degree here, okay, and able to drop the racket behind him. That's going to help him to drop the racket behind and create more power from this motion, from this angle, okay? So the first exercise uh, drill we're going to do, we're going to bring Santiago to the fence. Come here, Santiago. We're going to have the fence behind you here, okay? So the fence is going to stop you to go too far back. So I'm going to just ask you to do this exercise here, okay? You're going to lean against the fence. Ready? Show me. Okay. Close to the fence. There we go. And end up in trophy position. Go. Good. We focus only on the upper body right now. We don't focus on the legs. So one problem at a time, always. So the fence help him, like we say, to avoid. Come here, Santiago, please. Stay there. Do the, the motion before. The same thing. This way. This way. Yes. Stay there. Go. He was going too far back and dropping the elbow here. So bringing him close to the fence, go back, Santiago. Okay, go again. Good, okay. The helping to bring it, the, to keep the elbow in this position, not going too far back. What Santiago was doing, from here, this position, he was going too far back. He was going here and the elbow too far back here. Okay, so that's the first point. So that's why we're going to bring Santiago to the fence here to avoid going back, okay? That's the main reason we're using the fence. That's the best tool to, to work on that problem, to fix that, that problem on the serve, okay? Then why are we going to go next to the service line? Because we want to have a less distance with the net. He don't have to worry about the power or something else. Just focus to fix the trophy position. That's the reason we want to start from the service line. Make it simple. When you fix some problem, you always try to make it simple. We don't try to make it complicated. So we start step by step from the service line, then move back to the baseline. Just from, you're gonna start here right away. He's gonna start from here, okay? Start from the trophy position to make it simple. Toss the ball. Good, one more time. Again, no, just start from the trophy position. You don't need to bounce the ball, anything. Here, good, again. One more time. Okay, the key is from the trophy position, able to drop the racket behind you, okay? Go. Again. Keep the trophy position. Start from here. Okay. Good. On the trophy position, one thing very important. Make sure to have kind of 90 degree between here. Okay. And this position. No open too much. So I try to have the 90 degree and able to drop the racket here. Okay. Good. Good, okay. When you get that part from the service line, then we can move to the baseline. From the baseline, we're gonna add one more motion. From the service line, we was doing just from here. We were starting from here, toss the ball here, okay? From the baseline, we're gonna go even more. We're gonna add one more motion. We're gonna start, we're gonna ask Santiago to start from here. Then bring the racket back, toss, okay? Just focus on that. Here, bring the racket back and toss, ready? Trophy position, again, keep the trophy position, okay? It's better for the player to focus on one thing than to think about many, step, many stuff during the lesson. So always take one issue and fix it. Very good. And focus to keep the elbow up, Santiago. 
Good. Here, one more. Good. Again. That's one. Take your time, take your time. Very important to no rush. We ask him to go very slow from here. Take the racket and hit, okay? Don't worry about in or out. Take your time, okay? So, focus on the elbow position for now, okay? Don't worry about the result. Don't worry to get the ball in, okay? Only one problem at the time. At the time. Very good, Santiago. And on this session, we're going to be working on the toss. Common mistake we have with our players. Okay, I'm going to show you with the, the player I have today. His tendency is on the first serve, he tends to toss the ball on the left side, okay? So that's the problem we're going to try to fix on today, okay? Okay, you can see stop there, Santiago, stop there. Here, you want him to go through the target, or forward, uh, follow the target. Instead, because he, he tosses the ball on the left side, he's losing his balance. So we really need to focus on that, and we're going to try to fix the problem he have on the toss, okay? So the main thing, again, one more time, Santiago. Okay, how are we going to fix this? We're going to, first step, we're going to take Santiago to the fence. Okay, we're going to make him toss the ball with the fence on his back, okay? So Santiago, you're going to come with me here. I'm going to ask you, from here, you toss the ball here, okay? Toss the ball, because if you toss the ball left side, the ball will go to the fence. So your goal is here, here, just this motion. Toss the ball and do the trophy position, okay? Why are we using the fence? Because if he toss the ball on the left side, no way the ball is going to touch the fence. So he doesn't want the ball to touch the fence. That's his feedback. You see the ball is going to the fence like he was doing on the court. Okay, here. Okay, let the ball bounce. Don't, don't catch the ball. Okay, he still touch the fence. So if the ball touch the fence, meaning he's still touching the ball on the left side. We don't want that. We want him to toss the ball at what we call at 12. We said everybody use that, we use the, here is 12. So we want him to toss the ball here, or this motion. Let's say 12, okay, one, 11 here. So he need to toss the ball at 12. When he hit, he want hit flat serve. We talk about flat serve here, again. Okay, then we're going to bring Santiago to the baseline. Toss ball and let ball bounce, go. Let it bounce, let it bounce. Okay, to give him visual feedback, everywhere the ball bounce, you let the ball here. Okay, one more. Again, he's going to understand himself that, again, two more. And Santiago want you remember, he won't hit flat serve. He's not trying to hit a kick serve, and he's still tossing the ball on the left side. So we want him to toss the ball at 12 in front. Again. Okay, Santiago tossed three balls, and still tossing, the ball is still bouncing on the side. Where do you want the ball to bounce, Santiago? Right in here. Okay, top. okay. Show me. You know why your ball going that way? Do you know? Santiago maybe doesn't know, but the main reason we think is because when you're tossing the ball, you tend to, to let the arm go on that side. We like to, I want to ask Santiago when he toss the ball, to keep the arm straight here, up in front. Again. The first tip to fix the, the toss is really the way we hold the ball. Santiago used to hold the ball with the palm of his hand. I'm going to ask him to hold the ball with the tips of his hands, his fingers, sorry, okay? Go ahead. Okay, you see, the bounce is, is different. The way he toss ball starts to be different. The best thing we can give to someone is the visual feedback. He can see himself where his ball is bouncing. When he can see the change on, uh, on the toss. He can see himself the change. It's not only what I'm telling him, he can see himself that he's improving. That's very important. Okay, again, one more time. Very good. We can see here, just by changing the way he holds the ball, the, the toss is completely different, okay? So the main thing, the, the best tip we can give to someone how to hold the control his toss 
is to change the way we hold the ball. Okay, most of the people hold the ball with the, the palm. We try to hold the ball with the tips of the finger. Okay, one more time, Santiago. Very good. With the tip. Very good. Stop there. Stop here. Do you remember? You remember when Santiago started to warm up? He was touching the ball left side and he was ending up here. That's the proof that he's improving his toss because now he's tossing the ball at 12 and he's end up forward. He's going to the direction to the target. Okay? That's the proof that we're able to change the toss just by changing the way we hold the ball. Okay, it's very important. This is wrong. We don't want the player to hold here, like you did before. We don't want them to hold the ball this way. We want them to hold the ball with the tips of the finger.